G'day everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris episode, uh, whatever, uh, Iron Man on hard mode. Um, we're in the middle of a war. I don't need to refresh myself because I just finished the last session. Um, but we are going to start invading stuff. We're just going to keep our eye on it. We're going to keep pay to close. We're just going to try. We will try and pay close attention to um, what's going on in our battles, um, and not get not get flat-footed. Is that the right word? Flat-footed. Try not to get bamboozled or something. Konstruktion abgeschlossen. Twenty seven percent. We still got a still got a while to go. Um, until we're finished. Um, He's, he's losing planets to our allies pretty quickly. Um, let's go for the governor level cap, increase by two. Actually, why are we faffing around with this? Let's just go straight to the, let's just go straight to here. We need a lot more destroyers. That's the point defense, destroying all those missiles. And that's our fighters destroying all the missiles. Oh, I think they're swarm missiles actually, those ones that it was destroying. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, that's fine. Let's just keep this going. Um, yeah, we need a bit more. And then we want a Federation victory. Not too far off. Just need another 33 planets. I won't take long. Um, let's go for... I don't know. Um, army damage. I don't need more core sector systems. I've already got six spare, so there's no point doing that. Alright, where are we going to next? Go up to here. Invasion auf feindlichem Gebiet wurde gestartet. Okay, come here. Ah, that's 
fine. Eventually, we'll, this will clock over to 60, 70, 80%. And then um, we will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten, ten more planets for the uh, ten more planets for the um, for the Federation. So we'll have about twenty planets to go. Um, but at some point we'll just declare war on this guy again, take his planets off him, and then we'll be we'll be getting there. Right, so. This is fine, it's all working out fine. Um, more destroyers. No upgrades available, so that's fine. Let's land the armies. Construction abgeschlossen. Invasion auf feindlichem Gebiet wurde gestartet. Nice. Die Invasion war erfolgreich. Planet gesichert. Only superior now, not overwhelming. That's nice. Same with you. Yeah, that's good. What about you? Yeah, just superior instead of overwhelming. It's actually a good thing. It means we're pretty close to. We could we could take this pretty soon. We could actually even take them on. Unsere Invasion war erfolgreich. Planet gesichert. Konstruktion abgeschlossen. Okay, that. What's our next science? Um, let's just get more shields, whatever. We're just going to finish this by by uh, taking over planets and and getting a federation victory. It's going to be easy. I've already got two achievements out of this game already. I'm already I'm already pretty stoked. So uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, machine world. Look at this baby. Look at this thing. This is brilliant. Look at this. Ah, so good. Ah, oh, this is good. We, we, we're getting along quite well. What a dumb name. That's such a dumb name. I should have changed that name to something weird and funny, like the, the army of the people's mouths or something. Um, yep, and that's bad. Done it. Okay. Um, why are you... Why are you getting whingy? Oh. Oh, right. Okay, so vessel. Um, is that it? Is that the only one we got? Uh, let's go back to home base. Same with you. Um, can we... Can we bring some of these guys into the Federation? War philosophy. Well, we could, we could bring him in. He's got seven planets. Um, I'm not going to get him in. Um, can we bring anyone else in? I don't want to see the others. Um, 
when in the Don't You See the Fallen Empire. So they're all vassals already. There's this guy. No. Okay, so we can we can we can bring this guy into the Federation, but we need to change our um, our war philosophy, and that's fine. I can do that. I think. Yeah. Federation laws. Yes. Oh. You're the jerk. Yeah. Okay. God, I don't, that's the second time we've done that. Oh my God, why? Why? <laughs> ah. God, why do I make me? I just get, I think I just get impatient. Uh, and um, and that sort of thing happens. Let's, um, let's, let's create a vassal out of you. I can't, why? There's no... Okay, I know what I can do. What are you? Let's um. Why? If you're a hive mind, you're a hive mind. Do we have a vessel that's hive minded? Species. Um. See, I don't. I don't have um. Hmm. I don't know why you can't give um, I don't know why you can't vassalize a hive minded species that seems a bit wrong to me do we have any, any friends who are hive minded are you a hive? you're not a hive I don't know why you can't make. Why can't you make old? Why can't uh, that doesn't make any sense? Why? Why? Why can't I make you guys into your own? There's no species on this planet that can be re released as a vessel. Why? That seems like a bug to me. If there was another, if there was a different species, it would be fine. Um, I don't understand that. I just don't understand that. <sighs> that doesn't make it, that actually doesn't make any sense to me. Um, it should be fine. But you know what, let's just build. Let's just build our guys. Build pop. Whatever. Um, I don't know why we can't release those guys as a vessel. It doesn't mean that actually doesn't make sense to me. Oh, because they are part of this people's right. Okay. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, that that actually does make a little bit more sense. Um, but I'm not going to give them back to you guys. When can we uh, declare war? 30, 20, you see, we could declare war next year if it wasn't for the fact that we, um, that we, um, yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that, uh, we just have to wait until someone else um, starts up a war, basically. Um, Okay, what have we got? Um, we need seven Corvettes. Um, uh, 
five, so we need ten destroyers. Uh, sure. Okay, go away. Uh, we need the other. So, destroyers, we need a ten. Sweet. Uh, we need 14 cruisers. One, two, three. It's just a waiting game now. Literally a waiting game. We're just waiting for one of um, one of these one of these races to. Uh, we're just waiting for one of these races to declare war on us, or, or the Federation to declare war, war on one of them, and we'll just join in. Federation. Um, Federation um, species will take some more planets, and eventually we'll get enough planets to get over there, over the over the hump of victory. We just need 20 more planets, and then we, we've got enough. Problem is, <clears throat> we we need um, yeah, it would be good to actually bring in these other uh, things instead of just um, having them associated. That's that's probably part of the part of the problem. Uh, you can just go home. Actually, I'm just going to delete you. We don't need two. We don't need two constructors. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, do we need some more cruisers? Do we need a couple more cruisers? <clears throat> Are there any other planets that we can colonize? Suspension planner. Um, actually, we could actually. Uh, is this in our borders? No, it's not. There are some planets that we can colonize. That we can. Is that our borders? No. That's a shame. Uh, planner. This one. Where's this one? Oh, we've already got that one. Have we? Yeah. It's already colonized. Why are you there? I don't know why. We've already colonized that. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Okay, so that's, that's too far up. Um, where's this one? Okay, we're at war with someone. Who's who we're at war with? Um, Kasim Guardians. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Wow, okay. So that's that's interesting. Well, where's our where's our primary fleet? Okay, so let's go let's make our way over there, shall we? But not too close. Um, Kasim Guardians has declared war on our ally, the custodial yes Jagan nation. Um, okay, that's fine. What do we get out of it? Um, you get a bunch of seeded planets, but you're only oh you're a vassal. And yeah, you're actually part of it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That'll that'll work just fine. Um, yeah. I wonder where is the. Uh, hmm. This is gonna be interesting. I bet you their fleet is two hundred thousand or something, or three hundred thousand or something stupid. Okay, we will get more um, edict duration. It's fine. Um, okay. 
Okay, so we can take all these minerals. Yep. And swap them. Oh, do we need the... Uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. We need that. And then trade for minerals. Uh, let's see. Okay, so they are actually coming to me, but their fleets are tiny. Absolutely tiny. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Oh, wow. Uh, hello. Oh, whoops. <coughs> Let me follow you. Okay, so their fleet was only like 100,000. That's, and that's fine, because we can conquer that, I hope. Not if we go in one at a time, though. And we should be fine. 70,000. 50, 60, 70, 80. Should be should be okay once we once we join, it should be it should be fine. Hopefully. <coughs> oh wow, that's twenty six thousand, okay. It's 50,000 versus 50,000 now. Nah, they're losing a lot more. 35 to 48, 29, 26, 25, 24. So they're heart less than half of us. Okay, we win. Beautiful. It's fine. Okay, so we can take those planets soon. Um, uh, what do we want? Uh, there's nothing. Ah, whatever. That's useless. Um, there we go. Then we get that one. Um, okay, so we need four destroyers, ten cruisers. So when we win this for you all, you get three <laughs> you get three planets. You guys suck. Oh, you guys suck. So bad. Maybe we should go heal first. Let's go heal. Yeah, let's go heal first. Going to the heal. Okay, that's fine. Let's go there, heal up, come back in. Let's not make the same mistake we made last time. Um, Uh, 
Uh, let's pick up this governing ethics attract. It's useless. Let's get basic controls. It's fine. Okay, so you're healing up. It's fine. Okay, I was so close to winning this game. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? Ah, oh, so dumb. Okay, let's get, um, yeah, let's get that, and then, uh, science, we'll go for, um, ah, pff, whatever, disrupt this, it's not going to make any difference. I don't understand where all of the other fleets are. Oh, they got whooped, wiped out, that's right. Um, okay, so... Battleships need another 10. Let's come to the let's come to the throne. Um Construction Yeah, let's get some battleships. And more battleships. So close to victory, so close to victory. And we got two achievements out of this game as well, so I'm really pleased about that. Really, really pleased about that. Love it when I get achievements. Um, pleased to confirm that you can actually have a few mods installed uh, and actually still get achievements as well. I mean, that's really cool. They're all cosmetic stuff. They're all quality of life things anyway, but, you know, it's nice. Ooh, this is like 50,000 strong. Mm, okay. Okay, but they're firing missiles, and our, see our fighters are intercepting all these missiles? So he's not actually doing any damage to us besides the lasers that he's using. <clears throat> and now that we're in range of him, all of our stuff is, is chopping him down pretty quick. I would say pretty quick. I would say quick, probably quick enough. Quick enough. Doesn't look like we're going to lose much, if any, of our fleet. So that's nice. Uh, let's get um, let's get this resource. Oh, we don't need that. Let's get advanced combo rolls. It's probably some minor updates that we could get now. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Let's go for that. We'll just uh, take this first, then we'll go for this. Um, 
Konstruktion abgeschlossen. Come on, let's just finish this game. Come on. Uh, got new skills, that's fine, that's lovely. Another battleship, I suppose. Really? So the good thing about um, putting it on aggressive um, is that you can, it'll go off and attack something that's close by and then come back to here automatically and start bombard bombarding automatically. The problem with it is that it once you've engaged, you you can't change the stance, right? So if you've if you're here and you've got someone you want to engage there and there's someone else there, you want to engage this guy but not that guy. If you set it on aggressive, he'll go into this and then he'll go into the next, and you won't be able to change it because you can't change the stance mid-battle, right? Because this disappears. I wish that wasn't so. I wish you could change your fleet stance halfway through a battle. That would be that would be excellent. That would be really, really amazingly good. Because um, there's sometimes a situation where you want to get in there, you want to destroy everything in that area, you don't want to have to go click, 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 just to do it. And then after you've done all that, you want it to, like, back out. You don't want to continue. So there are... Ooh, hello. Are we going to do it in time? I hope so. Come on. Oh, that's why he's got psychics. Oh, we're losing some of our troops. Wow, okay, that's pretty intense. Okay, I need... Uh... Oh, did he surrender? He surrendered. Okay, let's go back to base. Send you back to base. Can we change our edict? New research. Uh, let's get strike craft. Yep, see planet. That's fine. Um, edicts. No, not for another four years. And we are inching. Every episode we're inching. Now we're only uh, 18 planets away from victory. But I'm going to call it there because we are out of time. So thanks for joining me. Hopefully, um, very, hopefully very soon we're going to finish this uh, finish this game. Uh, it's just a matter of time now. We've we've got the biggest fleet in out of everyone. Well, combined with our allies, we've got the biggest fleet. So, uh, so I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for joining me. Please leave a like if you can. Thanks.